Hey guys, there's here and welcome to a new video and I think this warrants its own video because I'm explaining how to do specifically the uh, rain impacts and the rain in a photo manipulation or RPs, any RPs. So uh, this is the rain impact that's hitting the mask inside of this uh, photo manipulation and obviously there is rain in the background and in the foreground well it's always in the foreground there's also rain impacts on the shoulders and on the ear here so how do we do these uh rain impacts it's really easy um simply let me just start by making a blank black layer right and make a new layer on top of it this is you know i have to do this this is just for me um so the first thing that you need to do is to grab this nifty little brush here uh, that you're going to have in the description, the uh, splatter rain brush. And it's about 200 pixels big. You can make it as big as you want. Now select the color white and uh, simply hold shift, click on a side and drag. And it's going to make this pattern here, right? Um, this the, the, These tiny... Uh, kind of like splatter dots thingies and now press ctrl and T on the keyboard and make this thinner by dragging the top side down like this and press enter now what you want to do is just click on top of it along um, along this line again with uh, the brush right with white selected now press ctrl T again and make it a bit thinner and there you have it. Well, let's make it a bit thinner. There you go. Now you can click once or twice around here, just like that, and go along the line again, and press Control T again, and make it just a bit thinner, like so. So this line is going to be warped to uh, fit on the helmet for in this particular photo manipulation. So I'm just going to hide the uh, rain and all, right? So I can show you guys how to apply it. This is really easy. Simply drag uh, with the move tool, put your uh, line of splatter thingies over here, press Control T on the keyboard, and rotate it to the angle that you want. So the reason I'm putting it at this angle is because I'm going to use uh, the warp tool to warp it around the helmet and it's just easier if I tilt it to this uh, side here. Also just imagine that this straight part here is going to wrap around the helmet on the right side and this part here is going to wrap down on the helmet over here. So um, yeah, I'm just just trying to limit the amount of space I'm using when warping. Uh, also, I know that the rain is going to hit to about 60 degrees on this left side here, so it's not gonna hit all the all the helmet, just uh, this left top left side, right? So press Control T on the keyboard with your uh, line splatter layer selected, and you're gonna get a bounding box around it. Just right click and then select warp. And now simply drag the corners and uh, from the inside, just like that, and wrap it around on your uh, helmet or whatever thing you're using. So just make sure it's on the sides here. Let me just put the warp tool a bit down here, just like that. There we go. Over here too. So now I know that it's around the helmet right on the top left side as I said and press enter this is your rain impacts right now now they m may not look much like much <laughs> right now but um, it will look pretty cool when you add it to other spots too and add the rain effect if it's not too intense then make sure to press ctrl and j on the keyboard and duplicate the layer and it will make the effect more intense. I actually like it like this so I'm just going to select these two layers and merge them and use it like that. Now <laughs> a thing that I forgot is to make a backup copy of it so I can add it to the shoulders but it doesn't matter I mean I can just make a copy of it and just straighten it up with the warp tool. So right click warp and just drag it along the shoulders right here. There you go. Just like that. 
and almost there and this side too there we go press enter let me warp it again so I can straighten it up and there you go it's hitting on the shoulders too now I'm gonna add another copy so it's hitting on this uh, down left side too uh, right side sorry just like that I'm going to erase the unnecessary area since I only want it hitting on the shoulders and I'm not gonna add to the ear right now but it's 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 gonna hit sorta on the ear so let's learn how to make rain so there's actual rain there to uh, warrant our rain impacts just simply make a new layer on top of your piece on top of everything and grab your bucket tool and fill the layer with black and then go to filter noise and add noise and uh, judging you know by the size of your piece uh, you're gonna increase the amount to whatever's necessary so right now 16.8 percent for me Gaussian monochromatic works so if your piece is a little bit smaller then just add less mine is a big size actually it's uh, let me see the image size right now is uh, the height is 2290 and the width is 1796 so it's just like a random size once you added the noise just go to filter blur and then motion blur so I know that my image will uh, my mask will be hit from the side on the top left side so I uh, this is why I'm putting my rain at an angle of 60 degrees okay so it's angled towards the mask now if your piece has a girl with an umbrella for example uh, uh, which is straight then just put it to um, 90 degrees but I'm gonna leave it at minus 60 if I can find that button minus 60 and now press OK now it doesn't look like much right now uh, which is why we're going to have to press Control and L on the keyboard and bring up the levels panel so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna uh, put the blacks on the right so this tick here that I'm moving right now to the right until you can barely see the um, the rain kind of thingy right uh, the motion blur of the noise and you're gonna move the whites on the right uh, on the left sorry just like that and I'm just gonna move the black one a bit more to the right and there we go it's a bit too much there we go so if I zoom in right now you can uh, see that there's less motion blur less objects to work around with um, there are spaces right now see before and after there are spaces between the uh, motion blur so they kind of look like rain which is good now you're gonna put this layer on screen mode okay now if I zoom into the piece you won't see much like it's definitely there but it's not much rain so what you're gonna do is press control J while having your layer with the rain selected a bunch of times so it will duplicate it a bunch of times until you are satisfied with the intensity of the rain so right now I would say that I'm satisfied sort of maybe one more time two more times nah, maybe one less so we got rain around here now what you're going to do is uh, select your topmost rain layer and hold shift and click on your bottommost um, layer with the rain and we're gonna merge these right we're gonna right click and then select merge layers so our effect is more intense on a single layer so we don't work with a thousand layers of rain now put this on screen mode and uh, since there seems to be an error on the top side right and on the bottom side I don't know the effect just doesn't work on the top and the bottom that well which we're going to press control T on the keyboard and drag it out of our canvas just the top and the bottom so it doesn't mess up our manipulation so there you go you have some nice nice rain going on here and some nice rain impacts just to show uh, where your rain is hitting obviously you can do a more polished work right now I'm um, just you know doing kind of a speed tutorial to show you guys how this works all right um, you can also add some effects to intensify you know the uh, the image like this is gonna be just post work so if I make a new layer on top of everything and go to image apply image press ok 
Now this will put your entire image on a layer. Uh, go to Filter and Camera, and in Camera you can play around with the highlights, or you can click here on the tone curve and uh, the lights. For example, you can pump them up. You know, so as you can see, the rain is more intense now. The lights are more intense. Uh, the highlights too. You can pump them up and see how all the whites just uh, increase a bit. Okay, so that it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, let me press OK. There you go. So it just made it a bit brighter, the rain is a bit more intense now, and so on. So you can do the rain as intense as you want. There is no rule saying that you can't make more rain and make it more intense. It's just preference, you know? Uh, just make sure not to exaggerate, not no go overboard, don't do it like this, because then you're losing a lot of detail in your image. Well, that's about it for the tutorial. I thought it was a good idea to just uh, make a specific tutorial just for this because it, it works with a lot of uh, ideas, a lot of manipulations. All right, so uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more.